Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to Star Fox Adventures. Dude, you really need to stop with that. Can I can I feed him while he's here? Oh, he won't let me feed him because he's asleep. There you go. Please, just just stop that. Great. I didn't I didn't give him the heal command. What's he doing? That's weird. Anyway, uh, last time we were basically told that the queen is sick and we need to get her some white fungus. And apparently the only place it grows is in the caves in the well below the, uh, the, the, the pretty area. Thorntail, that's it, Thorntail Hollow. So, uh, I'm getting some stuttering here. I don't know if it's visible, but if it's an issue, I'm already kind of half expecting to have to re-record this. Hopefully not, because, listen, I am really bad at... I'll start recording, and then, for whatever reason, I'm just not happy with the result. I don't know what's wrong with me. I think I'm just, like, a little too much of a perfectionist, even though I know most of what I post is just kind of... shitpost here. So, I, I've, I don't know. I gotta get over that. And, and I don't know how to, except for just kind of letting go and accepting that sometimes videos are gonna be bad, or weird. Not bad, I... I try to keep the production quality as decent as it can be. By the way, I'm blowing up those, uh, the bomb spores because we are going to need them a couple of times. I'm just, like, loading myself up now so that I don't have to get a bunch later. But yeah, that's kind of what I'm trying to do now. I'm kind of just, I'm going with it, man. I'm, I'm just, I'm feeling it. I'm, I'm just doing. Okay. This took me forever to figure out. I blew up that center section that's above the water, but the water drains out. How does that make sense? Well, it's because... Cracks. That took me so long. Like, I didn't realize that until the last time I tried to record this. Actually, in the last video, I never actually said where I got up to. I got up to just after this. So, this is all stuff that I've already done, which is why it kind of looks like I know what I'm doing, because for once in my life, I actually do. So, we are getting our second ability here. This is the... It's gonna give us a text, right? Yeah. Yeah. Staff Rocket Boost. So there's special pads on the ground that you can use this ability on, and basically the staff turns into a rocket and you go flying. You don't get control over it while you're flying, which kind of is less good, but it's still entertaining. I will show it off, like, literally right now, because I think this is the... the thing for this mini-dungeon, quote-unquote. I, I keep looking at this game through, like, a Zelda lens. Because it basically is. People hate on this game, and... I mean, I get it, because they're expecting Star Fox, right? This is the boost pad, this is what they look like. Anytime you see these, use the rocket boost there, that's probably where you need to go. Yeah, they... People are expecting Star Fox because of the branding, right? So of course, when it's different than a rail shooter, people are gonna get a little bit pissed off about that. I almost fell off the edge. But, this game isn't... And I know I talk shit about it, because... It's... It's a mixed bag, right? As a concept, Star Fox doing other things, I, I don't think should be just a nail in the coffin for the franchise, right? A lot of people are like, no, this, this game sucks because it is not the standard genre, which is fair, which is valid. But I like Zelda games anyway, so this isn't bad to me. Okay, rant over. Let's speak to the uh, least insane cave dweller. Alone, I've been thinking of entering the Lord Sanctum without a lantern to light your way. You must be as mad as me. Go and see the shopkeeper, he should be able to help at the right price. <laughs> All right, so, <laughs> I won't question it. Um, there are fuel cells up there, and I want them. And you'll notice that I still don't have the map thing, and that's because I was too scared to try and reset the console. What I'm hoping to do is get back to where I was from the failed recordings that I had, and that way, even if saving over... even if my save situation doesn't wash, I'll still be in the same spot, so it won't matter. If that makes sense. I don't know if I explained that right. Basically, I, I'm, I'm wanting to get back up to where I was so that it doesn't matter which file I use. Maybe that's a better way to put it. So, Long ass ladder. What a thrill. Uh, that was... I, I kind of had to do that, right? If there's a long ladder and you don't say what a thrill, I, I think you're kind of not existing, right? Anyway... 
I'm, I feel like I've had such fucking gremlin energy lately. I don't know what's wrong with me, dude. Don't even start with me. Where are you? You gotta admit, that was good. The timing, the, 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 the quick aim, all of that, beautiful execution. You cannot tell me otherwise. Oh, I'm getting stutters. I'm getting the real stutters. It's not that bad. It's better than it was the last time I was getting stutters, so I'm going to ignore it for now. I just really hope it doesn't crash the game. This upgrade is totally optional, and I think actually normally I don't get this one until much later in the game, but we're here anyway, and I know it's here, so that's what we're doing. I, I, don't, I don't care if you don't like it. Yes, we're, we're leaving the dungeon, but we, we had to anyway, so please, oh no. Do I have enough? Please tell me I have enough. Okay. I think I had, like, one extra shot there. <laughs> God, I, the aim, though, like, you can't blame me entirely, right? That's one complaint I think that is valid about this game. The aiming system they chose was bad. It, it's just, it's constantly fighting you. All right. Staff energy meter. Again, twice in a row. Well, not twice in... It's not like the same upgrade twice in a row. Just two videos in a row. We've gotten a capacity upgrade. So at this point, you basically don't really need to worry about your staff magic meter anymore. It's... I mean, you, you need to be careful in some cases. There are some abilities down the line that I think use a hell of a lot more magic. But as long as you're picking up the energy gems every once in a while, you should... Should be okay. Unless you're me and can't aim. That's true in, like, every game I play. I'm... I don't know if people are still sort of on the hate train for basically no reason. I play Fortnite, and I can't aim for shit. So I, I think that's just a thing about... Where am I going? I think that's just a thing about me more than it is this game, but this game also does have bad, uh, aiming stuff. Oh god, I'm sorry, I just burped. I don't know if I'm gonna keep that in. Uh, Lantern. Wait, did my information box come up there? Hold on, hold on. Shibunga, leave me alone for a sec. Oh, it comes... Okay. So where it says Firefly Lantern there, that's where the map thing usually is. And actually, it's giving me the option... Do you hear that? That little bloop bloop? It's giving me the option to switch screens... But it's not actually doing anything. That's weird. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> we do actually need to buy this. Uh, I will if I have to, but I'd really like to pay this much. What? Dude. I... Okay, I did try that in the last session, but it didn't work. So is it random? Is it random what his tolerance is for your bullshit? Maybe it is. I've got to look that up. I, I, I don't know. I'll, I'll do a little bit of research in post and put it on screen if I actually got off my ass and did it. Uh, Firefly Lantern. You find yourself in dark caves, open the lantern to release a firefly, and your path will become clear. Don't forget that the lantern is useless without fireflies inside it. Does that not sound contradictory? Y you keep the fireflies in the lantern when you're not using it, but release the fireflies when you do need to use it, but it's useless without fireflies in it. My head hurts. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry I put you through that. Can I do seven? No, that's too low. I'll do eight. If he doesn't like that, then I'll just pay full price. No, that's too low. Come on, dude. You gave me a 25% discount. And now we're talking about like two scarabs and you're okay, going to make a big deal out of it? it Fucking making a federal case about bugs. Does the IRS exist? In, in Star Fox? In Dinosaur Planet? Dinosaur World? Who is the Dinosaur IRS? Is there a Dinosaur IRS? These are the questions I have. This is what keeps me up at night. This is why I'm running on like three hours of sleep, because I'm thinking about the Dinosaur IRS. Alright, I... <laughs> I'm just gonna get back down to the least insane cave dweller, uh, because I... You've seen the rest of the way to the well, so... I will just meet you guys... No, I won't. There's a dig thing. Show me what's in here. What you got? This is not relevant. I just want to see what's in here. Oh, it's one of you. Okay, tricky, please. 
a a a a a a a a a above above farm dad. I'm sorry, I just John Tron referenced. Magical creature whose powers basically bring you back from the dead. It's Dinosaur Jesus. He will bring you back if you die. That's your lives. You can only carry one at the beginning of the game. You can carry more down the line if you get an optional upgrade, which I probably won't do, but then I'll probably regret it. At, uh, okay, at this point, I'm not going to cut because <laughs> we're basically almost there. I know I said I was going to, but uh, don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm doing. What are we at? We're at 10 minutes? Can I wrap this up in like the 20 minute time frame I gave myself? Okay, I'm about to die. Not actually, it's not that urgent, but if I don't pay attention to it, then I will die. Because these things, I didn't even talk about these. That spore is what damages you, the mushroom itself doesn't. So you can disable them by giving them a smack. I think you can also shoot them. Yeah, you can also shoot them. Doesn't matter, it's, it's not a huge deal, it's not really worth your time. Ah, a lantern to light your way! Good! Yes, very good! Good, good, excellent! Great! Awesome, fantastic, good! Cool! Awesome! Other positive words! Great! Oh, I never finished that train of thought in the last one either! Okay, remember how we had to do basically this but above ground to get to the warp stone? And he gets hurt by it? I started on a tangent talking about how, um, I don't know if this is just me. You guys gotta let me know if I'm alone in this, if I'm just, like, mentally atypical, because that also wouldn't surprise me, really. Uh, before I continue that thought, White Grub Tub. This is what they look like. I believe... Where does it tell you this? You need six, but I don't know where it tells you this. It tells you this right here. Cool. Collect six of them, feed them to the queen. Cool. Easy. Um... Yeah, I don't know if I'm just mentally atypical, which would not surprise me in the very least. <laughs> I would actually put money on that, but... Am I alone in... In video games, yes, but it can be virtually anything. I'm trying to snipe bats, I'm sorry. I shouldn't be doing this. See? Brute force, it works. Am I the only one who... God damn, cutscenes, dude! <laughs> These item pickup cutscenes won't continue. They only happen the first time you collect something, but it's I bought I bought a firefly. Assuming that I would need it at the beginning of this place, which I don't. So I don't know why I did that, but it didn't give us this cutscene when I bought it. It only gave me it down here. That's kind of weird. Um but they only happen the first time you collect something, so that won't be an ongoing thing. Okay. Train of thought. Um am I the only one who feels bad for inanimate objects or things that just straight up don't exist. Or not don't exist, but that don't have human capacity to feel pain or to react negatively to whatever it is you either passively or intentionally do. So like, for example, I was talking about how I feel bad for characters that I unintentionally hurt in video games. Or like, um... I guess the best example I can think of for this is um, in Animal Crossing, where you can, like, piss off a villager or something, especially in the older ones. you can They can be dicks to you, and you can be dicks to them. Where am I going? Hold on. I need a minute. I have... How many do I have? I have two. Okay. There's three up there. And there's... Four, five. Am I missing one? Oh, no. It's too early for me to have fucked this up already. Okay, I'm just gonna go for the ones that I can see. Um, <clears throat> yeah, basically, anything in video games where you can be an asshole and not... There's no, like, consequence to it, like hurting the dinosaur, for example. Oh! Big example. You can hit Tricky. <laughs> Some people do just, you know, to meme on him, but you can do that. You can smack him with a stick. I can't do that, because I will feel bad about hitting Tricky. And that extends to not only video games, that extends to like real life stuff as well, where it's like, the thing that I'm dealing with cannot feel pain, cannot feel anything negative, cannot feel generally. It's an inanimate object sometimes, but where did you come from? Was that thing here the whole time? What just happened? I just got like, airdropped. Anyway, yeah, basically just inanimate objects or things that don't feel human emotions, I feel bad about doing things 
negatively to inflicting inflicting pain on things that can't feel pain is usually the the easiest way to put that if i'm alone in that fine cool but i feel like someone else has to relate to that i don't know that i i, <laughs> I kind of feel like i just went on an insane rambling for like 10 minutes okay uh we got the can i open oh you can open the menu while you're on the ladder that's cool um, we have the six thingies. We are going back to the queen, and if I remember right, there's a not long cutscene, but I'm pretty sure they dump the entire story of the game on you here, which admittedly it, it doesn't take long. It's not like we're dealing with a horribly involved story, but they, they basically just give you the whole exposition dump. You get the entire lore downloaded, like, all at once. So look forward to that. <laughs> I'm probably going to start talking about something else and then get cut off by the cutscene, because that seems to be the running thing now for some reason. I like that sky color. Is that just the fog, or is that... No, that's that's kind of the actual sky color. That's nice. That's aesthetic as shit. You know what I haven't done? <clears throat> Excuse me. I haven't really taken in the scenery around here. Tricky, I'm not playing with you. I'm shooting this dude. Okay. I'm talking about taking in the scenery, and I just realized you can see the place that we came from. We were up on that mountain, I assume, at some point. Probably the majority of that, like, sled race thing that I failed three times. That's probably where that was. Is there anything else we can do before we get cutscene to all hell? Um, trying to think. I, I think we've exhausted this place. There's some stuff in here that I was looking at during the last episode, or not during the last episode, during the last attempt at a recording. I don't know how to get in there. There's four fuel cells and probably some other stuff, but I have no idea. Like, I think you have to get into there from the shop. No, the shop is a separate area. That loads separately. I don't know how to get in there. I'll figure it out, because that's just sit it's sitting there mocking me. It'd be worse if I had the fuel cell compass on, which I will get for the next episode. And if I don't, just assume that I have like Alzheimer's or something, because I <laughs> it's been bugging me so much, but it is the type of thing I will forget to do. Cutscene time. Fox, what are you playing? Oh, not cutscene time? Oh, I have to actually give them to her. Really? I, I have them. I just okay, cutscene time. For saving my son and for saving me. Okay, okay, enough of the thanks. <laughs> now I need some help from you. Can you just tell me what's going on? This is all the work of General Scales. He is the ruler of the Shark Lord tribe, a nasty bunch of pirates who have always wanted to rule Dinosaur Planet. We have always been able to stop his attacks, but this time he somehow become stronger and defeated our army at the Krizoa Palace. Right, a bad guy. But how did the planet get in such a mess? Within the Krizoa Palace, he broke the seals of the Force Point Temples. I'm listening. This planet is rich with a magical force. A force so strong that it is continually pushing our world apart. To stop this, four spellstones were placed inside the Force Point Temples. Okay, that's a bit weird, but I understand. With the seals broken, Scales entered the temples and removed the spellstones. With nothing to hold back the magic force, the planet was torn apart. At last, it all makes sense. So, the bad guy takes the spellstones, your planet falls apart, and I've got to find the spellstones and bring them back to the Force Point temples. See, Mom, I told you he was good. Star Fox, yeah. My son will remain with you, for only a dinosaur of noble birth can breathe life into the spellstones. What? Uh, that's okay, but don't you think he's a bit young? Uh, I mean, it's gonna be very dangerous. Loads of bad guys, fighting, death. He knows the planet well, and I'm sure he's shown you his sidekick skills. Oh yeah, I forgot about those. Come on, Fox. We'll make a great team. Okay, but if you mess up just once, I'll send you straight back to Mommy. Okay, yeah, yeah. Good. 
Now, our spies have indicated that Scales was last seen in Dark Eyes Mines. I know the gatekeeper, Garunda Tay, a silly fellow, but he can guide you to the Spellstone. Go back to the Snowhorn Wastes and find him. Got it. And Fox, I think you'll need this. The Sharp Claws dropped it when they attacked me. Maybe it'll come in use somewhere. Okay, enough already. Can I just get on with it? Fox really being the voice of the people there. Can you just shut the fuck up so I can do what I need to do, please? Sharp Claw Key, it's... Listen, it's not relevant right now. Uh, it, we'll, we'll get there. We'll know when it's relevant. So basically the game says, uh, cool, so you backtrack back to here? Cool, backtrack to where you just were. Like back on the mountain? Yeah, go back there. I'm not even fighting you. He was not in his attack animation there. He just like grazed me with his thumb and it did damage. I'm not do Oh, did they run away when you're on the ladder? Uh, nope, he just phases into the ladder. Well, that's nice. <laughs> All right, I think we're gonna get to... Yeah, we'll go and just before we meet up with Gatekeeper Man, that's where we'll end off for now. Because I'm at, I think we're at 21-ish minutes. This area confused the absolute hell out of me when I was a kid because I never knew how to tell which way the water was flowing. But I think it's actually a lot more simple than I thought it was. And I think part of my issue with this game is that I was kind of a stupid kid. <laughs> Well, okay, first of all, who wasn't a stupid kid, but also, I don't think I was necessarily stupid any more than I am now. I think it was more an issue of I didn't pay attention to things. I had, like, no attention span, which is true up till now, so you know what, yeah, that, that's probably what it was. Um, it's pretty easy to figure out, because, like, whichever way you're going, the water is flowing the opposite way because you had to manipulate the water to get to where you are now. Boy, I explained that badly. The water is always going to be flowing the opposite way. You're always going to have to flip it because you had to get to where you're starting from, right? The only way to get to where you're starting from is by having the water flipped to get you to your starting point. Did I... I, I didn't explain that well. You know what? <laughs> I'm going to assume you understand what I mean. It's always flowing the opposite way. Going on like a 10 minute rant about water direction. Dad bod Daryl. Um, sorry about that. Listen. <laughs> I kind of mentioned how like, I'm just kind of going for it with recording sessions now. I, I used to try and put on an air of semi-professionalism. I've kind of figured out that's not the way I want to do things anymore. I kind of want to just fuck around and have fun. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, it's not like a channel rebrand. I'm the same dude. I'm just not going to pretend I know everything anymore. <laughs> anyway, that's going to be it. Uh, next time we're going to deal with... Uh, you can you can kind of see him peeking through the ice. You can see the top of his head. You can hear him screaming at us. Yeah, there you go. Um, th this is gonna be a whole thing. I'm probably gonna fail this a couple times. Well, can you fail this? No, I think you can just make it take a long time. Either way, the worst possible result is probably what's gonna happen. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.